you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of Christmas DIYing? Come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of DIYing with paper towel. This is one you are not going to want to miss. It's quick, it's easy, it's budget friendly, and the outcome is amazing. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some Christmas DIYing on a budget with paper towel, because that's what we do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Jumping on into this DIY, Bit of a warning though, this DIY is a bit on the messier side. I like to cover my craft table just to protect it. And to do that, I use just a simple trash bag because it makes for an easy cleanup. The paper towels that I will be using for today's DIYs are just the paper towels that you can get at Costco. They are a premium paper towel, which means that they are thicker. They're a two ply paper towel. I prefer these over a thinner one ply because they work better and these paper towels have the half sizes, so go with those. You're also gonna need some white glue. I'm using this white glue that you can get from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna empty my glue into a plastic bowl. This is a plastic bowl that I do not use for food. I know somebody's gonna ask me that. This is my craft bowl that I typically use for making my tiles when I mix my plaster up. So today it's gonna be used for this DIY. I will be showing you an alternative to watering down your glue mixture, but when I'm doing bigger DIYs with the paper towel, I find that using a bowl is easier than the alternative that I will show you. I'm gonna add just a bit of water to this glue mixture because I wanna thin it out. I don't want a thicker consistency of glue because the thinner, it's gonna go farther and it's still gonna get the job done. If it's thicker, it's not gonna make it any better. It's just gonna use up more of your glue. I do suggest using gloves because as I warned you before, this is a bit of a messier project. So yeah, get some gloves. For this first part of the DIY, two half pieces are what is needed. Do not separate it on the serrated line. Just go ahead and fold it in half. Using a paintbrush and that watered down glue, I found that this is the best way to saturate these two pieces. And when I say saturate, I really mean saturate it. You want it nice and wet because we want to stiffen this paper towel. Paper towel is so budget friendly to work with. You can get a roll of paper towels for about $1.50, a good roll. And so when you see what I do with these paper towels, it is a game changer. It is gonna open up so many doors for DIYing, you're gonna love this. So once we've got it good and saturated, on the long side of the paper towel there in the middle, you're gonna kinda pinch it together, gathering it there in the middle, because what are we making? Wait for it, yep, a bow right this is gonna be amazing and so just by pinching it together that way and kind of smoothing it out picking up some of the center pieces because when you have a bow that center there is gathered it's gonna get the job done you're gonna have an amazing bow and it's super easy to do and you did this with just two or three pieces of paper towel that's what's amazing about this you can really shape your bow whatever shape you want it to be once you've got it good and shaped, if you take another piece of saturated paper towel with glue on it, you can place it there in the center, kind of hiding the gathered part, finishing up your bow nicely. But we are not done yet. For the tails of the bow, you're gonna take another two half pieces of paper towel, fold it in half, saturate it with glue again, you can see now why this trash bag works so great because we're saving our craft table. And so yeah, that just oh, easy cleanup. Just kind of throw the bag away when you're done. Anyway, once we've got it good and saturated here at the top of the paper towel, I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch the top together, gather it together there, which is then going to form the tails of our bow. And again, you're gonna wanna kind of elevate some of those pieces to give it really that bow effect. 
my bow and my bow tails are good and formed. Now we just gotta let them dry. You can either let these dry overnight. I personally, I pop it in my oven because my oven goes down to 135 degrees and it's gonna move this DIY along a lot quicker. It's gonna take 20 minutes for this to dry. I'm not telling you that's what you should do. I'm just saying that's what I do because I'm not afraid to do that. After about 20 minutes in the oven, your paper towel bows should be good, stiff, and dry. These are a smaller version than what I had originally showed you because what's great about this DIY is you can make bows in any size. And so this is just one of two sizes that I made today. But once they are dry, if you just take a bit of sandpaper, you can go right along the edges of the bow and really smooth them out, get some of that excess glue off, and any maybe loose edges from the paper towel that you want to smooth out. Because it's stiffened, it's going to sand. Who knew you could sand paper towel, right? I'm going to go in with some brushed metal. This is a metallic paint by Folk Art that you can get from Michaels, I believe is where I got it. Because the paper towel has been stiffened with that glue, we are good to go with painting it. It makes it super easy to paint once you have coated the paper towel with the glue and it has dried. What's great about this DIY is that you can really get creative with these bows. Do them to suit your decor style or your color choice and you're going to get the same great effect. I'm going with the silver because that seems to be the theme of my tree. So I'm going to give these a nice good coating with that metallic silver paint by Folk Art. I'm going to be showing you a few different things that you can do with these paper towel bows. And so for this second smaller one that I did, I am going in with some of Waverly's Crimson and giving it a good coat of that. Really one coat is all that is needed for these. Through the magic of video, you are seeing a bandage on my pinky. I did slice my finger open on a can of pineapple when I opened it. Ask me how, I'm not sure, but I got it right along where the cuticle and the nail is and it went down about a half an inch. And so it was a pretty good cut, but nonetheless, I'm doing okay and it's just gonna take a bit of time to heal. So you might be seeing this for a minute. Then I'm gonna go in with some of Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the color of Walnut Stain. One of my favorite means and techniques for distressing. Only, I'm not really distressing when it comes to these bows. I'm adding depth and dimension. By adding some darker shadowing to those inside creases of the bow, you're gonna add some depth and dimension, which is really gonna change the look of your bow. You can do it with brown, you can do it with black, I'm a brown person, so that's what I'm going with. I'm applying the ink with a stiffer paintbrush for those of you who are new to my channel. This is actually a makeup brush that I cut the bristles really low on, and that is really the easiest way to apply this ink. When putting this bow together, I'm just gonna use some good old hot glue. Before I show you the awesome hack using these paper towel bows, let me show you a fun trick to wrapping round items. This here is the wrapping paper that I'm using by Hallmark. It's a two-sided wrapping paper. You're getting 40 yards for $9.99 at Sam's Club. I love the fact that this is double-sided because you're really getting two for one. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I wrap these candles. I just recently DIY'd these candles the other day. If you did not see that video, would you take a look at how cute you can personalize these candles on a budget for about $5. If you have not seen this video, I will link it in the description box below and on the end screen of this video. Pick some up and do this DIY with them. If you don't wanna do this DIY and you just simply wanna wrap the candle itself, but you struggle with how to make it look nice, start off with a piece of wrapping paper that is just a bit bigger then I guess the ends of the candle, the diameter of the candle. Once you've taped on one end of the wrapping paper, you're gonna wanna give the other end a nice, clean, crisp fold so your wrapping job looks professional. You're gonna go ahead and fold it over using some of that scotch tape. You're gonna tape it there so it doesn't come undone. Then you've got these ends. How do you get them to look smooth? Well, that's easy. You take your scissors and you cut slits 
in the wrapping paper going down to, I guess, the top and the bottom of the candle. Your slits are going to be about an inch wide. No need to make them any bigger or smaller. That's what's going to work to give you a perfect wrapping job for your round objects. This candle. Once you've got all those slits cut, you can then look at that. Look at how easy that is. You can fold it over all those round edges. You're gonna wanna tape pieces here and there just to keep them good and in place so you have those nice crisp edges. But once you fold in all of those slats, flaps, slits, I don't know, you're gonna have a perfectly wrapped round present. Just that easy. Who knew, right? Now that we've got this round candle perfectly wrapped, it needs to be topped off with a perfect bow, I'd say. So I'm just gonna hot glue it, and I just put a dot of hot glue just to keep it in place, and I wanted to finish it off with some greenery with berries and those pine leaves. An afterthought was I should have added a twine hanger to the back, so whoever I gift this to could use this bow as an ornament. Look at how beautiful that is and how easy it is to add a bow to a present. For this red one, again, I'm gonna add some dimension to it with some of that Distress Ink. And so because of the afterthought with the candle bow, once I added some white berries, I did decide that I needed to add the twine hanger to the back and look at how cute this is and what a fun Christmas ornament to add to your packages for each of your loved ones that you're gifting something to or just to decorate your own tree with. For this next DIY, you'll be needing four of these square planks by Crafter Square that you can get at Dollar Tree. To these, I'm gonna add some of that wood glue by Crazy Glue. You can find this, guess where? In the tool section at Dollar Tree, not the craft section. I'm gonna glue these together on the sides just to really get them good and tight together. Once I've got them glued together that way, I am gonna go in with some jumbo popsicle sticks and just reinforce those seams really holding these squares together in a larger square. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, making a larger square with four smaller ones. Going in with some of Waverly's Crimson, I'm gonna give this a nice good coating of that and I am using a sponge dabber because I only wanted to put one coat, not two. And I find that using the sponge dabber, I love the texture that it gives. You lose the brush strokes and you can get the job done in one coat. We are now reverting back to the paper towels. I've got one half sheet of paper towels that I'm gonna fold into threes, just like you see me doing here. And I'm gonna do that twice. Now, this is another method of spreading out that watered down glue. I transferred half of the glue into another container, filled the bottle up with water, shook it, and made a dispenser and found that this was an easier way to go, but then realized I didn't have any more gloves, so I had to go in and risk messing up my new manicure. This time I did go have it done because it was Allison's 12th birthday last week, and for her birthday she wanted manicure and pedicure at the salon and so Kayla and I went with her and got that done and yeah so it was a fun day so hopefully I don't ruin my manicure actually I didn't and I'm gonna go ahead and saturate this paper towel with that this paper towel it is just about the perfect length it was a hair too long but that's perfect because we're gonna get a nice clean edge when it dries but this is what I'm gonna use to cover up the seams of where the wood pieces meet because what am I making? I'm making a decorative wood present and I'm using the paper towel again as ribbon. I'm gonna let this dry overnight. Once it's dry, I went ahead and took a straight edge razor. I cut off the excess pieces. Isn't that such a fun idea? So if you don't have a huge stash of thick ribbon, why go out and buy several different types of ribbon when you can make something like this out of paper towel? You're gonna get so many with just one roll and it's paintable. So you can have several in so many different colors cutting down on what you have in your craft stash, saving some money on a budget. Once I painted the ribbon, I felt like it was just a bit too plain. 
I felt like it needed a little bit of distressing and darkening on the edges just to kind of add to the piece and finish it off. So I did go in with the distress ink and I guess add some shading to each of the edges. And with that, reappears the larger bow that you saw me making initially. And it's gonna go right on the top of this here present, giving us a fun, perfect, beautiful, decorative paper towel bow that we made, guess how? On a budget. You can get so creative with these. If you have not seen my angel DIY, that I did using paper towel. I will also link that in the description box below and on the end screen of this video because it was a fantastic DIY of an angel made strictly out of paper towel. And so to this, I wanted to add just a bit of berries because this is going to be a decorative piece that I add under, I guess the family room Christmas tree that we don't put presents under, but I wanted to add some decorative presents and this is gonna do it back of this piece because I want it to stand up I'm gonna take one of those wood blocks hit it with a bit of hot glue and I'm gonna stand that present up and place this block into place I do suggest standing your piece up so you get the proper positioning of the block and you know your piece is gonna stand up nicely and look at what a fun piece this is who is today's KB creation crafter of the day well, it's going out to Karen, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY corrugated decor piece made out of Dollar Tree gift bags. I love your spin and twist of making it a card holder. Karen, thank you so much for sharing your recreation with us today. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find these links, guess where? In the description box below. Bows out of paper towel. Who would have thought, right? Amazing. You can really get creative with these. You can make them as big or as little as you want. You can make a giant one and you can put it on your front door. You can make smaller ones and make them ornaments or just do what I did today and add them to Christmas presents. I hope you all enjoyed today's fun, quick and easy DIY using paper towels. If you wanna see more DIYs that I've done in the past with paper towels, you wanna click on the video right over here and it'll take you to one of my favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. But most of all, stay positive, please, because I sure as heck am. Bye for now, everybody.